My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Yeah, I don't think you need to bother watching this video. I mean, after all, who wants a 70 Chevelle SS396 with a four-speed and factory air conditioning. How about cowl induction and factory gauges too? Yeah, you're probably not interested in that. But if you are, you can go to volocars.com and you can look at all the pictures top to bottom, all the specs and pricing is there. And while you're there, you'll find a few hundred other collector cars all for sale as well. But if you're still interested, how about I take you for a spin in this 1970 Chevelle SS396. This is a good, clean, solid car. It is not a 10, it's not a fresh frame off restored car, but it's beautiful, great colors, and again, great features. I bought it out of Arizona. It looks like it's good, clean, original metal. The floors are really nice, not patched up. I was in the trunk looking up at the quarter panels. I believe they're original, so it's got that going for it. Great colors, no vinyl top. The paint is real nice, glossy, shiny. Um, I see some little like fish eyes in the paint, little imperfections. This trim is nice, but it's got a couple dents and it's a little bit dull. So that's when I say it's not perfect, that's what I mean. Uh, the stripes are smooth to the touch. They're painted the correct dimensions. A bumper's real nice, got the cowbell exhaust tips, uh, SS wheels. Pearl white interior, just like the outside, it's all been replaced, but maybe 10, 15 years ago, there's no rip seats, nothing like that, but it's not brand new, but it's all really good. The dash area actually looks really fresh. The little bit of chrome bezels around the gauges is new. And like I said, it's the factory gauge package with the tack, the clock, it has a retro stereo that fits right in the dash. This is a cowl induction, which means it comes with the uh, hood pins. And it's a complete cowl induction system, the little flapper door and solenoid. It's a factory air conditioning system. Uh, the front suspension has been rebuilt. It does have an aluminum GM uh, intake on there, like a 375 horse intake. Uh, power steering, power disc brakes. Everything in here is respectable. Windshield's real nice and clear. Uh, it's got Hotchkiss upper and lower control arms in back, 12 volt rear end. It is a Muncie four speed that's in there. Nice clean trunk compartments, got a spare. I don't see a jack. Uh, it has a new mat, new weather strip. This is painted up nice. So again, respectable. We'll start it up for you. You can see the cow induction is closing. That opens when you really drop on it. It's got that nice, perfect muscle car sound, a nice, lopey idle. Air conditioning compressor has a sticker on it that's been replaced. Wiper motor looks new. Alternator looks new. It is converted to R134 Freon. That sound is perfect. Even the seams in the jams there are factory seams with the factory spot welds. The retro stereo has a USB plug underneath so you can plug your accessories into it. Headliner's nice, visors, mirror, all looks real good. So there you go. I said, you're probably not interested in a 70 Chevelle 396 four-speed with air, but if you are, go to volocars.com before someone beats you to it. 
And then we have plenty of ways on there to contact us. I have a staff of people that are willing to help you answer questions or concerns. We have shipping, we have financing. So go to volocars.com. Take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you see the videos as we put them out. You'll be the first to see them. So I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and keep on watching. We got a lot more to come. Thank you.